Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Along with my commentators of the crew, this is where it comes down to this. The Avs and the Bruins are the final two teams in the Stanley Cup Finals. It's next, after this, of the NHL 23 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Fan here, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Finals on EA Sports. Now this is what everyone is doing. I hope everybody is enjoying your part of the Stanley Cup Finals, but this all has to come down to this. It's a win to win it all for each team for the Boston Bruins. They've already had 3 and out of the series. They've been dominating and crushing them out of here as right at the time is going by. But the Colorado Avalanche hasn't won any games this time. So they, we've never seen them back in last postseason. They were all the way down there to the finals. They made that far. And we know about them. Last year, they won their Stanley Cup finals. And they were the champions in 2022. I'm not sure who's going to like, take the win for the next one. But there might be a considering option. There might be another way that they could try to like stand up and try to raise them out. There might be one word. Boston Bruins, or the other team on the Colorado Avalanche. Well, there might be one way to get this done, but hopefully on this occasion, it might be happening one by one. So that being said, it's a win. It will be a win to win it all. And the other team will be finished and stuck here for the last one to end up here all the way down toward the division central of 2023. Now it's time for the game to get started at Mile High. Standing by, I have his OJ. Along with Paintbrush and the center ice, we have a Son of Beast. I'll be back with the post-game show, 3 star players, and 12 statistics. Let's get started. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy Game 4, everyone. Win to win it all for Boston Bruins. If not, Avalanche will take it over. Hello everyone, OJ here along with Paintbrush and Centipede. It's Game 4 in Mile High. It's a win to win it all for Boston Bruins and win the whole thing. It's time to do this. And the puck is dropped. We are underway. Here in the courtesy line of his being here, we have his followed up. We have his Patrice Bergeron. Across from the other side, we have his uh, DeBrus. Then on the other side, we have his Tachushke. Then it's Brad Marchand right toward in the corner. Larkin is right down here toward the deep. McKinnon right over right to the right. Then it's McCarr and Toes right toward the back of the slot. The starting goaltender for the Avalanche is Alexander Georgiev. And on the other side, we have another one to take it from here. Omar once more. And Orloff is in the back. Now, I'm not really curious of what they've done. A lot of timing is just a very tough one to keep it over it and under for sure. But I have a lot of confidence on my feelings of what could happen in Lee. They were definitely doing a lot much harder than they had because they're really on, on the top racing of the offense zone. They are trying to make it quick. They never really done that one really obvious for sure. And for reason, they never want to get that done. Back on the other side, we have his with the car, and Gerard is in the right side. Looks it over to Comper. Gives a pass over to McCarr. Take the backhand shot. That's blocked up. Nieto over and out to Rantanen to Gerard. Gerard to Rantanen. Shoots one of the back. That's stopped there by Omar. Looks to Gerard right over again to McCarr. Now gives off to Gerard. Off to Rantanen. Swing it over to McCarr. Now gives off to Gerard. Over and out of Comper. Comper fires it across and Nieto. Back to Gerard and now over to McCarr. McCarr fires across. That's chopped up. Puck leaves his own as the Colorado will have their possession to keep trying again. Every time in the moment does happen tonight now, they really got to get that pass and get it right in timing. The Bruins will have their take in the offensive zone. 
McCorris got it now, and he will give it off to O'Connor. Brace it down. Hello. Man, I don't know what O'Connor does that one. They really are just trying to, like, leave it alone. He just ran over it again and went bashing right toward the face first. That's going to hurt. O'Connor right toward the other side, and now Eller. Now it gives off to Duran. Juicing across. Glove saved by Omar. Carlo will have it in Buck and Bounty, and Boston are back on the attack. Now get off to Lindholm. On towards the other side. Pasolak's in there! Trying to make a stop! Wow! Georgiev got a diving catch release! What a great start for the first period. Every start of the back half, looks like that period is turning to be a way closer than you know it from before. Both teams are ready to take the face off, and now they're on. That hits off the player of Frederick. Look in the middle! Ryan Georgiev saved. He offered a whistle for 14 16 to go in the first period. Both teams are ready to take the face off puck drop. They have the official to get right in the ball arena. Still no score in the game. Here's Johnson. He'll give it over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to move it around, but Patersi caught him. Here's Frederick back to the other side now. Try to pull it about him. Close the defender right back to Malkin. Rodriguez pass is broken up. Coyle's ship timing now back into the offense zone. Good stop here by, for, by Alexander Giovia. Now Punt give up to Rodriguez. In a corner now. Slows it down. Now back to Johnson. Now he will switch it over to Malkin. Malkin. Rodriguez recovers the puck almost well the other way and Hunt back outside. Ganula. Face the slap shot and now finds Hunt. Looking for some extra helper. They really have to do this one in much timing. They never really want to get that, that thing back again. The Avs enter back into the attacking zone. Now Carlo will have it over to Coyle. Coyle to Paterzi. Puck taken away as Hunt has it now. Eller to Hunt. Avalanche back into the attacking zone. Trying again from the top. For the move, O'Connor! Shot! Stumped away here by Omar. Now have to reset it up here again. Got a great passing in between the puck zone. Looking good, players open. And the puck misfires it. Sent all the way down, back to the avalanche zone. Trying to keep the puck alive, and toes. Pass broken up. Frederick shot! Loved it away. Now Hunt will give it over to Cagliano. With a new line shift. Cagliano, we do we. Now the toes. Toes with a shot. All over with a save. Now you will have to wait from here to give it another face off. As right now the puck is about to be dropped in the offensive zone. We have to call in between. Posternox has a sniper goal and ability to have that one over and under again. This was a hard one to try to keep it in balancing to have that snipe right toward the side. McKinnon's got a great ankle breaking that he is putting up here for tonight. He's one of the bestest players here to try to go with an offense run. He could try to try to make a move and then try to trick someone up. This is a tough player, but they are just showing him up. I'll be watching in between of two in, in the line of McKinnon and Pasternak. Guys, back to you. Toes back at the outside of a car. That puck was over the net, and I just really spotted it on that this was a lot that harder than everyone is expecting because of this one really does turn out, but they are really trying to handle it out. I never see when everybody does this. They really gotta like step it forward now. Look at it shot blocked! A great call here for Zaka, and now back the airway. Like whenever never covers the putt. Toast recovers it. Looks to Pyram. Now finds Likud in. Over now to Comfer. Comfer went down. Lakunen. To the move. Score. To fuck it. Off the goal post and in the net. And the first goal comes in for game four of Lakunen. You put it around the net, but you're never going to see where you're going to have to look at it and try to hit it off the deflection right from the, from the player up outside. Giving a little tip back in. The Boston 
Bruins have it trailed up by one as the Avalanche starts off with a one nothing lead in the first period of Game 4. Cover wins the faceoff and now will give it off to Byram. Byram on his way down. Passes across to Nieto. Looks over again to Gerard. Byram carried offside and will have a faceoff puck dropping off in a neutral faceoff zone with eight minutes. Officials are getting set here, ready to take the face off, puck drop. Now the Bergeron wins the face off. Here's the brush, give it off to Bergeron. Look around the weed. Chalk to stick up and now give it off to Nieto. Sending it deep over to Comper. Comper waits it around a moment. Puck leaves the zone and by my way we'll have to reset it here to try to keep up the run. Stay out of the zone because if you have that puck inbounding, you know that will be definitely be offside. Pagliotto recovers the puck. Almost lost it. Looks to Byram. Byram back to Gerard. No cutter given in. Byram backhander. Rebound it again. Pagliotto shot. Right behind the net. Now Bergeron over now. Right from, right from the offense zone in the attack zone. Looks into DeBrus. DeBrus to Clifton. Shot! Rebound! Scores! Patrice Bergeron! That was putting back in, and they had that tied up just for one. Watch out now. The captain is looking over. Patrice Bergeron out there for a reason. He wants to do this and tie it up in the first period. Boston wins the draw. Back to Pashtunov, and he's on his way. Looks it over to Zaka. Stopped by Jorgen. Johnson will have plenty of time now. Give it off to Eller. Eller on his way down. Eller gets bundled up, but recovers the puck. Now give it off to Hood. Looking back to Johnson. Looks to Cagliano. Pass is broken. Eller recovers it, and now Rodriguez right into the wing. You can't find an open man to make a cutting. Hunt over to Eller. Keeps the puck alive for the Colorado Rams. No offside is whistled off because the puck was not passing the blue line. It still stays close because it doesn't really leave the zone. He still keeps it in there. Eller. For the corner left. Rebounded stop by Omar. He will have some time now with only 4.12 to go in the first period. Teams are ready to take the face off puck drop. Their team is tied up. Boston and Colorado are the tough teams to try to make a knockout. McCo McAvoy to Kroji. Kroji over right now into the center of his own. Looks it over. Fighter on the mound. McCarr stop. You're going to give off to McCarr quickly, and now Malkin will have one. Orla, pass to Saka. Chopped it up a year, but the crouch down uses his knees to try to block the shot. It's a great inbounding. They really wanted to do this one a lot. I feel that there was somebody else there who was already been down. That could be a lot that hurtful for a new hook to try to like swing him by. New hook gets bumbled up. Lekun in. Give it back to Nichushke. The Bruins have their puck away. We'll fling it out for the zone in the abs territory. Now he finds McKinnon without being bubbled up. McKinnon on the fast wheels. 2.10 to go. Fighting toes. Rebounded again. Stopped about by Omar. Uh, he's like aggressive out there. And I see this whistled out on Boston with under two minutes remaining in the first. Still a tie game. Now they will have more room to get on to the attack. Still score tied, looking for a lead. McKinnon wins the draw. Gerard to Byram, and now open look is McKinnon. McKinnon on a shot. Hit off the defender, and now it will go right back to Gerard to Byram. You know, when you make a mistake out there, that deflection is going to be able to cause that one with the chemical. On this one, the lab really has to call for that the new 
Isaac Newton's private pup may be deflected and it's off the stick. That could be a little harder than a tropical decision to have it down on, the, on his way. Poked it away to Chushkin, has one. We're under final minute of the first period, it's now still tied. Come for right toward the net. Hit it up! Whoa, that went too close. Mike and Rant today. Fires across! Omar with the stop. It'll happen here and have only 22.8 seconds in the first period until the first period expires. Now there's something to go here to take the face off in the offense zone. And now back with the win. Here's Lindholm. Marchand right over into their wing. Looks over to Rant today. Buck straight down. Icing is whistled on Colorado. With 4.6 seconds, it's a one in the game. Just a critical draw here between Avs and Bruins. With the win, here's Lino. Blocked away. Nida will carry it up. And that ends the first period. Both guys have a goal. With Rant in it, with Lekron in, and it was Bergeron. Stay tuned for the second period. We'll be right back after this. Hey guys, Son of Beast here. Have a little quick announcement for everybody. For those of you who are watching right now for the Stanley Cup Finals, I want to give you all a thank you to everyone who has been watching with us here right down on the social media. And we also, we, we want to encourage you to have a lot of respect and this admired nation. If you have casted your vote here to figure out which team do you want to face against the other team, that means you have to choose one of each. There's a lot of teams that we have here before and they have never played it here in regular seasons of the game. And if you don't know hockey, you should start watching now here for the next new season after the summer is finished. Because at this point, there are tons of tons of scoring of the season run with the matchups before the end in April. And then, in May, it will start the postseason of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So that will be the next one that you want to watch right now. If you haven't watched this yet, I, I should recommend you watch right now for NHL and find out which one was the best part of it of the highlights. If you haven't watched this time, I should definitely tell you this one, give it one time. If you don't like it, then you may think of other sports like basketball, of NBA, MLB, NFL, or if you're not a sports fan, then you're party pooper. <laughs> I got you this time. Anyway. Cast your votes now before the before new season arrives in September. At that point, you'll figure it out by your own Well, you have plenty. I will have more discussion here as I'll pass it along to OJ for the end of the year of the school. So that'll be later in the third period. So stay tuned for later. I'll see you guys later, everybody, along with OJ. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stanley Cup Finals of game number four. About to start the second period. And here we go, we are about to start things off on their way in mile high. Let's have a recap in between for Payne Press as he stands by. There was one way that I have to call for because there was a lot of face of, of the official with the wrecking chain in the, in the bounding. I never seen anyone does this like, like quite some times. They really were doing a lot much focusing on their attacking run since they wanted to get it done. But I never see what was anybody else's response. They've done a lot of it so far and they were getting a lot of goals in between. Like in between zones, they're trying to get out of it. Brad Marchand, what a biggest hit. He tumbled down. It looks like he was not ready to be out there for a while. But unfortunately for Brad Marchand, he's out of the game. Well, as I go back to this one here, they're really a tough, really a tough nut. But they were really just starting to like, get a little bit annoyed up here. They wanted to like stop their pressure on them. They really are trying to like like pushing them inbounding. I never see what anybody else does like that. Because of this, they were really are sure enough they could try to like keep it in attacking zone over and over again. I know they were really hard, but nothing to say about it. They just can't get enough. And then there's a goal for Lycrenan on that side. They've really done that one a lot much harder than they would have put. And for and the other side, Patrice Bergeron, 
They were saying that the Brust really had that one all. And Bergeron really had that goal to take the rebound. And that's why they were tied up. They were really tough. Lots of time left in this period. Still a tight game, looking for a leadoff chain in a second. Bergeron wins the draw. Leno right toward around the net. Zarko right into the middle. On the side is Nieto. Nieto on his way down. Passes along to Rantanen. Get it a little puck over again to Toes. Toes in the angle. Stop it inbounding and it's off on the goaltender back to Bergeron. That clear hit, that clear shot of it is really turning off that necessary. If they were really going over or down, they really got to start getting up like they were doing it. Here's where it did. Gets bumbled up. Still recovers it. Passes to Nieto. What a good look, but it was stopped again by Omar. Now Colorado will have to keep finding an open man look at the offense. Gerard now finds by Ram. Looks inbounding right today. Stop again. Here's Eller as he will have that puck inboundable. Loose it over again to Byrea. Over to Gerard. Back behind the net. Gets sticking away by Carlo. Toward the chain. Here's a slow slide. That's stopped again by Alex Energy Orgia. Deep pass to Logan O'Connor. Moves around inside. And a glove saved by Omar. We'll have the time being stopped now with, under, with only 15-3 to go. Lots of time left in this period. Still tied up, looking for a lead to take it on in the second period. Carlo passed to Lindholm. Pass it over to Frederick. Coyle recovers the puck, almost lost the chain, and it stays up. What a great stop made by Alexander Georgia. Cogliano on the way, in the corner, trying to move it around, and Johnson, give it off to Hunt, looks out with the wrist, Omar caught it out, he followed it, trying to gobble down, and then try to snatch it, that was definitely what he was uh, catching it for, and really stayed out of it, there was a close call, the period rage, still tied game, looking for a lead to take it over. Now the wing comes in, and Carlo onto the corner. Move near the wall. To a new book. Now Johnson will have it over again to Hunt. Hunt shot! Stopped again by the goaltender. Malk into new book. Finds Johnson. To the middle! Denies him! No penalty call on Boston. That's right on new book. And a puck is sent out. Colorado Avalanche will have their puck in possession as as Malkin gives off to Rodriguez. Now pass to McKinnon. McKinnon towards the right. Point shot, save shot. It's blocked by Lindholm. Nowhere opener because he didn't really try to stay on attacking run. He didn't try to make it clear. Greer towards the right angle. Now Kriji. Close to gap out and now McKinnon giving over. Bad pass. Nichushkin couldn't get enough over it. Halfway right into the right way. Goes shifted off the net. And halfway. Block the shot. Johnson gives over the leg with it. Locking it on the way down. Try to leave it out. And Pashinox will have the puck and carry in the offensive zone for Craigie. Slide it across here from McCarr as he made a slight sharp edge. Pashinox over to Zaka. Toes on Zaka. Looks to Pashinox. And a delay penalty called. That's going to have to go with the slash. And that was on Cogliano. Not a good call. Not a great one either. You don't want to make that one a slash because if you do, you're out of this. And you don't want to make that one like very hard to complain. They really never stepped it along. Now I have a little interview here as right now Brad Marchand is in the medical room. Do you have any updates here, Mifo? Sorry, you son of a beast. Thanks, OJ. I did talk to one of the medical responses, and unfortunately for now, Brad Marchand has an unknown risk to take over it for the inbounding, or his unknown knee support. The doctor is able to make it, and the medical has responded as the, uh, as the part of it, as of the sports manager who made that one a lot of mistakeable. 
He was really hurt and was bounding to be run of a climbing and clanging, clashing towards the uh, defensive players and went right down, right towards the head first. He was smacked down at a, at a research. They were showing it up that he was okay, but, but things got really hacked up and they really never got it on. So at that point, Brad Marchand is out and he will have to play it back again in game five if necessary. I'll be keeping an eye on the touch for a Bruins to keep it over it. Back to you all. Returns the alone. Good stop by Comfer. Clear the puck out of here with only 30 seconds to go. That's what you wanted to do. You want to make that one clear. Push around the way. Oh, Connor near it. Shot to nine. Comfer right over again. Pass to Jerry. Oh, Connor. He's ready to get out of the penalty box. The brush guy to go. And right now, the power play is finished. They have expired, and they are going back into it again. While they were searching for the shorthanded goal, they've got a really tough one to make a carry out. I never really saw what anybody else could do, and I didn't really spot it on how are they doing this. They really are trying to like keep them out of here for as long as they can. They really are start stepping it up at that point. I mean, look at them. They were putting up a lot of passes. I know they were up to it. Hunt inside! Blocked away! Recovered across and Hunt will have to change it here. Bergeron takes the puck away. Recovers it. In the middle by Ram. Takes it over to puck in the corner. That, dis that disembarked. No icing is whistled here. Now New Hook will give it over again to by Ram. Giron outside. And by Ram over it. Looks inside. McAvoy took the puck's pass with a block. Pasternak's right toward the right. And DeBrus toward the right swing. And a poke check. Malkin will have it recovered up here near the offensive zone. Rodriguez recovers it as the Avs will have their possession to take over in the offensive zone in the Bruins territory. Call the auto up. Short. Way too much traffic out there and congestion right toward the side of the wall. Toast recovers the puck. Looks in bound. Grant stopping the pad out here by Omar. They really are trying to get over it. They want it. They just can't get enough. Recovering the puck is Kill McCarr. Colorado back the other way. He's all alone. To delete it. Stopped away. What a pad low. And now Olmark delivered it to do it again. Wow, uh, Olmark. I don't know what the possession does. He just really wanted it all. He wants it badly. He wants it to try to stay out of the net. He wants to have his own new record to have a lot of saving amount in each game. Well, reduced back to Eller. And now over to Hunt. Five minutes to go in the second period. Keeps it over to Rodriguez. In the backhand! The backhand shot has been denied. Now the Bruins will have their own. Out the way in the middle. Rebound Nozak! That gets stopped again by Georgian. Gives it right over into the jailbreaking cage zone and now back outside is Johnson. Now Nijewski will have it here. Give it back to Johnson! Stop the pad! Oh, it hit the goal post! Again, this happens before. He's way off the mark. I never really saw what everybody does that. But in most cases, they really were starting to get over a French again. They really don't have enough to find anybody else open. Moves it quickly over to Zucco. Johnson will have the puck here and now finds Nieto. Nieto will fire it out. The Chushka McKinnon right over into the other side, excuse me. And he almost went offside, but good quality because the puck went out. Easy to mess congestion here, they don't have it. That's blocked up. Runs into Nieto. Goes over with the shot. That rebound is stop and save again. Gerard to Byrea. Trying to make a move out there to try and hold up on that offensive zone. Move the puck back and forth. Looks away today. Open pass shot. Nieto scores. They're out there. And seven goals puts up for Nieto. You have no idea how this one turns out. When you give off to Rantanen, 
He had that chain in the mark. He was wide open. Had that open shot, this angle keeps on happening. Matt Nieto had a lot of enforcement to try to go with the rebound. He has that puck. He really did have it all with this only attentional skill that he really tried to handle it out. That pressure was a hard bustle. He really did well like he did. Two-run shot. Oh, man, that's an old mark stop again. Pushes it out. Where it's in. Now he's back in the offense zone. No penalty on Boston. Cogliano resets over the toes. And he'll have to lead the puck out. And it's called offside. During the end of this period, the Avalanche have a 2-1 lead over the Boston Bruins. Looking for a way to get their run up ahead. Now Orlov will have a puck. Kick the puck out of here. Misses the puck here from McCarr. Eller trying to grab it, and O'Connor will have it. Bergeron has the puck in the offensive new, in the neutral faceoff zone. Looks in the middle. That's a stop made by Alexander Georgian. Put it out. O'Connor was down. Toes gets beveled up and says, no mess up to take him here. Goes around the player. Orlov passes to McAvoy. And with one second of color, it's blocked away. And that will end the second period. Great rebound. And that was the point up for Nayara to pick up a lead for the game tonight. A 2-1. Be right back after this. Third period is next. Welcome back to Ball Arena. And this is where it comes down to the end of Game 4 in the third period. Well, it's about time to do it now. Let's get going. The recap of Matt Nieto with the first goal and make the lead tonight in Game 3. Sorry, Game 4. There really has to be one way to go with that. I like when the hustle puts up for Nieto. He really got a great piece of it to try to like smack him out. He really done the best. And in all that timing, they were really up focusing uh, with a intentional workout run. This athletic is a turnout to be the killer. Right towards the zone, they have nowhere to find it around here. I know this was tough, but they were really there showing it up that there was a lot of bruises. There were so many uh, collisions out there. They were really trying to be a lot that harder than you notice. But there was tons of stuff that were really trying to keep the pass going. And I know that this one's really took it off the better way that they were playing. They'll play. They'll try to get it done. Two on one. Oh, it's Omar. What a stop save at the two on one fast break. They were really just trying to like show him. He said, unbelievable. I have to go quicker than that. I still keep it alive. Stop again by Georgia. Nayano went stumble down. Now trying again, it's Comper. Cogliano, sorry, toes. Nayano get back to Byran. Gives back to Comper. No penalty called on interference. Toes over again to Byran. Get bubbled down. And they're still not going to get a call with that one because there are no adoptions for the Bruins to go with the hold or the interference. Well, their head coaches to disagree, they were really saying that, and the referees. Not able to take much time out there. Reggie keeps the puck alive without being called icing. Now Johnson. Try to move it up Duck and Bean. Come here on my can. Granted it went too wide and it hit off the goalpost. McAvoy in the middle. Tie the shot. That shot gets rejected and it goes back to Cogliano. Tries again. O'Connor shot. Back it, stopped again. Cogliano to Eller. Trying to reinforce the group here on offense. O'Connor can't find the puck. They really are all over the defensive, man. They really are just trying to like keep it out of here. They're nothing but they wanted to do. Cogliano recovers the puck. Shoots one, denies him. He got all of it. Allmark will have to hold the puck here with only 14.41 to go in the third period. 
Lena Solmark has been one of the variation to put up a lot of intentional block shots. Here we're really trying to deflect it. And this is what it's called for, the X-ray vision. When he has that right in timing, he could just try to like look closely at that player, watch the where the puck is going, and then get the get the save and pull it out. This is a tough one to make it interesting here, guys, because Leah Solmark, he done one of the best. Oh, he went slipping down, and he was going to get really hurt. Mm, that bad angle out there. A little nightmare to have that one collision. New York recovers the puck. Now finds Malkin. Malkin shot! We fucked it up again! Oh, we did not have the right moment to do this one, and Omar just put another huge save! That puck was like turning to be very close. Nothing but you can't just understand it, you just really gotta face the gut. Now with the win, here's Carlo. McKinnon keeping an eye on him. He passes off to Pasternox. Watching for his own. To the center! Oh, he just wanted to make that creative move, but it was denied by Georgiev. Well, Georgiev just saw that one here. If he was going to put a backhand shot in there, then he would have gotten a goal. And they would have known they really wanted to get it all and get it done faster than they can. Little denies it, and Georgiev got a quick timing. McKinnon over to Lekude. To the corner of the wall. Give off the by ram and now over to McKinnon. Pass across to Nichushka. Carlo on the inbounding. Moves it over to Zaka. Passes to Krejci. The Boston Bruins firing the puck again. Now recovers again is the Avalanche. Nichushka get a little bit squeeze out of it. Trying to have some more spacing, tiny room. Lekunin recovers it and now finds toes. No penalty. Gets back to light grenade over to Makar. Deep it over to Nichushka. Shoots! Stop by Omar! 11 18 to go in the third period. As if, as if they're going to have to try to settle it down and they get ready for the faceoff. Yeah, they always got to do this. Got to easy it off because the 98 percent you're like, oh man, they were really way much the line. Toe shot that deflected right toward the wall and a great stop made here by Bergeron. Nyana recovers the puck. Get the puck to Toes. No penalty called on Boston. Now on the right side. Zaka shot. That denies him again. Ranton and over to Nyano. Nyano on the attacking zone. Looks to Jokopfer. Bass is a Ranton in. That gets bubbled up by double man defensive players. Boston in the attack. Hunt recovers the puck here. Poke it away. Behind the net. Moves back to Olaf. Shot fires. That's off the pad. It goes on the goaltender. Oh, God is on. Go for the back end. Denied it again. I don't know where the puck was going. I, I just had to look at the replay at this moment. I think that the puck was like up and over it, but it was on a goaltender. I thinking, I thinking that was the puck that was stopped already. I'm not sure if it does that happen again because they were really sure enough. They just really got to like keep it out of here. Pass to O'Connor is blocked out. Looks it up in the end and now with only 18, 8.30 to go. Icing whistled on Boston. Just getting down closer to the end of the third period of regulation. We want to say that all the seniors, you rock. Because all of you all will have to appreciate your support with all of your accomplishment and for your goals to make the successful much of completion and the final of the taking test was a huge success. Congratulations to the class of 2023, you all rock. We can never graduate you to have the biggest moment and to son of beast applying to the higher higher level of the class. Yeah, I know. I never seen how well he was doing here before. It looks like he did get accepted during college. Yeah, this is the best thing in the life. I know. 
because it was, it was away for a long hour and now he's already like old. Now he's in a higher age. He's now ready to do it again. I'm happy for him and I guess that this is the best time for him. Now he's ready to do it. For next year, for the start of 2023 to 24. Exactly. Bet you can all understand him. He's drafted a candidate of the year. Oh yeah. <laughs> exactly does happen all the time. Yeah, I know. He's impressed. Nitrishkin up over the way. Trying to go around the fender. Has no luck with this point and get back to dry. Now McCard finding an edge here. Pass this is broken. The breast to McAvoy. 5-4 to go in the third period, and now looking to Bergeron. Leaves it out open in the other side of it now. Fires again. Saved off by Georgia. Taka! Good block by Makar. Makar really is standing alone. And never really wants to improve it. And he just always really wanted to get it blocked. Says, no words for ya. Stay out of my sight. The brush candles the puck. Boston on the attack range. Moving across the nose at. One on one! Stopped again by the goaltender. Rants didn't give up to Nieto and a lot of puck moment to make the pass connection easy. That gives off the pass. Toast looks to Rants in it. McCarr over now. 4 9 left to remain in the third period. Nozick has the puck here in bounding. Dish it off around the net. McCarr to Comfort. Has nowhere to go. Oh, yeah, he did get bumbled up here. Nozick finds Greer. After a poke check, Puck sends it across. No one sees whistle. Oh, Connor shot. Blocked by Carlo. Carlo really got a great use of his skill. He did get close, says, Hey, hey, you trying to go for it? You trying to extend it off? No question. Carliano over again. Carlo on the puck. Lit on to the right. Hit the Zancha. Pass it on. Rebound stopped again by Jogan. Oh man, he is a he is a one better relation to try and like save it again. Game three, not so good, but game four, he got much better at it. I know. Easy to tell this. Two minutes remaining in the third period. Crunchy trying to get over. Orlov with the puck. Fling it up and away. Now O'Connor will have the puck here with only a minute and forty. Caldeano on his way to take the lead. Stop the power by Omar. Johnson puts it back to Hunt. Trying to take the extension, but now it's Coyle with the puck on Johnson. Looks at his own. Stopped again. Still have a lot of time right now. Warlock fumbled up with a minute ago in a third. For Jersey trying to get over this. It's like it in. Open around the angle. Shoots way off the mark. That really was sent high in the air. I never saw what's going on. McKinnon off to Lekode. Shoots! Glove saved by Omar. Now you'll have some time to take it from here with only 38 seconds in the third. We do have a winner here. Your take, Son of Beast. Nathan McKinnon was an absolute but astonishing to make his effort on his own. His player was definitely turning out the best. And with McKinnon, as Ranton would describe it, He's, he could definitely make an ankle break. He could try to move it alone. He's really up to a great, great energy to make that one pay off. He's doing really well. Where do you have to pull? And he will give it up to Copper and scores! That ends the third, fourth game in the period. Deep range in sight. That's with JT Copper, and that's when you know the Bruins are not able to take the winning series of the draw of game in the finals. They're still giving, they're still doing their best shot as there are a lot of uh, inbounding to take. Nobody had that possession to try to like leave it open. And they were really up to it, an energy star. I like the hustle, they really done the best. Offside has been called, and right now back the other way, we have with another face up. Still a lot of time left to go in the period, but looks like it's not a lot of time. Only a few seconds, and then the win puts up for Colorado. 
and that will do. The Avalanche wins the game in fourth. And the final score is a 3 to 1, and they are on the series. The Bruins still up 3, but now Avalanche, they have won to win that game. It's easy enough to say that Alexander Georgiev, he was an, a, an energy crowd favorite. Well, I guess that really does sell out. We all salute fans, and appreciation has been delivered. Well, that being said, thanks for joining us for the fourth game of the finals. OJ along with Paintbrush and Son of Beast. Thanks for joining with us. Have a good night. Thank you very much, and now we are sending out three star players of the game. The third star, as we go off to JT Cogber with a long shot goal. Nina Solmark with 40 saves in the game, 0.952 percentage. He really got it all, like he did. And your first star, Alexander Georgia with 34 saves, 0.971 saving percentage. We really got it all. Here's how I did with the total statistics. With the game, 43 over 35 for Colorado Avalanche. 26 hits. That's a lot over Colorado. Then it was 15-10 time on attack for Colorado over 4.43 for Boston. And it was 99 percentage over here with Boston on his passing attempt. 79 was a little bit off the angle of it, but got a pretty good skill out of it to try to go with an open pass. 22 faceoff wins. It goes for Boston and taking over. And only penalty kill was Colorado, and no power play goal for the Boston Bruins. So with that being said, that ends up for Game 4. We are still not done yet, and we'd like to give a huge congratulations to the, all the seniors who have been accomplishing with the goals you accomplished the mission, and your trail over into, into, the, uh, into the goals has been complete. And I wish you all some better, better luck here for the next part of the year jobs, trade schools, military, colleges for a two-year college application, well, there might be one way that you could try to like, keep it on going. And I hope you all enjoyed your, your school year, and that will be the end of the year. So yeah, now it's summertime, but we've still got a lot of game to go. With that being said, fan along, along with my EA Sports crew, this has been a presentation of the of the Stanley Cup Finals, like I just said before, of Boston and Colorado. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the Stanley Cup Finals on EA Sports style. Oh, and one more thing. If you have seen a new episode, make sure you watch now. And don't forget, the BFDI and the and I mean say the experience is underway. So that will be the first location for LA at the Sabi Media Center. Alright, close this video now. You should stop wasting your time and then go back to what you're doing. Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, goodbye. Video's over. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.